Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So let's take a look at the energies for your next 7 days. What needs your attention? Wheel of Fortune, 5 of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So guys, two scenarios. For some of you there can be an apology from a lover that let you down and you will have to decide what you want to do about it. For others of you, there can be a new offer coming from a new person after a period of time that was characterized by disappointing romantic connections for you. And so you will have to decide if you are ready to embark on a journey with a new potential romantic partner. The Wheel of Fortune can be the energy about unfinished business, unfinished symphony oracle card, if we think about the apology coming from a lover. And then it can be the opportunity to allow the wheel to spin in favor of a new romantic cycle if you decide that you are ready for it. Building blocks is crucial because you basically have to understand if the foundations when it comes to the connection in the two scenarios can be trusted. Regeneration makes sense if we think about the apology from a lover because they can ask you guys to do things in a new way. A leg up can be meaningful in the two scenarios because we can think about support. So we need it in order to be successful in a romantic connection. We got the Hammer Oracle card. We can think about the concept that follows the opportunity to work together in order to be productive. And then keys on a ring. Decision is the key word for us. So guys, I want to investigate the Queen of Swords because I am curious about the energy of communication that some of you may have to manifest. The Queen can speak her truth and she's not going to bow down. So this is meaningful, especially in the scenario about an apology because chances are you are not going to forget what happened between you and this particular person. The apology can be genuine, guys. The Knight of Cups is a remarkable energy, but you know, it is not said that it can be possible to mend the connection according to the reasons that brought the two of you to the necessity to share this conversation about an I am sorry. When it comes to the new connection, guys, it's merely a matter of choosing if you are ready or not to begin a new romantic cycle. After a while, maybe. Maybe you have been single for quite some time. So let's see the queen. Here we go, Knight of Cups, recurrent energy. So the apology can be on point, I have to say that, then there is free will, you will have to evaluate according to what you feel about the connection with the person that can bring forward the token of apology, the Empress, healthy growth, healthy development, we need solid foundations, the Empress has the superpower to recognize if a situation can be successful in the long run, if a situation can achieve the highest potential, you have to do that. When it comes to an apology, in order to basically figure out if you can let go of the disappointments, the Five of Cups energy, and when it comes to the new connection, you have to understand if the new person can be the one that you want. Judgment energy about a uh, potential reconciliation, reunion, second chance, we know the drill, and then a surprise when it comes to the new opportunity, guys. This is a major wake-up call when it comes to the opportunity to begin a new romantic connection, and then this is a final decision about a connection that struggled quite a lot, I would say, considering the Five of Cups, because maybe for some of you there were interferences coming from the outside and so you have to figure out if you can still trust the person that can apologize. They seem genuine guys but the Queen of Swords can see through the act and you may have to do the same thing. What's the challenge of the week? Five of Swords, the star clarified by the Seven of Cups and the Five of Cups. So guys I have to say that this can be indeed a challenge because some of you have given a lot of importance to a connection with someone that has played an important role in your life but this person doesn't seem to be a positive figure overall for you because the five of swords is an ego driven energy for me it can describe someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter 
The man in green and red is the bearer of the Tree of Swords energy, so he can be an heartbreaker. And the clouded sky is not in favor of a clear flow of communication. So the star is a wish granted. I want to say that some of you got intimate with this person, maybe for quite some time, but this individual is bringing forward only confusion, the seven of cups, questions and doubts. There can be options available for this person, especially if the two of you are not officially together, you know, and the five of cups can kick in because it's a disappointment. We have talked about it in the previous scenario. So I'm finished the symphony. The connection feels kind of incomplete, you know, something is missing, building blocks. It can be difficult because of the five of swords. Regeneration. Some of you can think about the opportunity to do things in a new way with this person, but what about them? Are they a support for you? Are they someone that you can trust? Someone reliable? Someone that can be there for you? Because it seems that you have been doing more for them and they kind of settled for the bare minimum with you. This is not fair. So guys, I want to see... I want to see the Five of Swords because uh, the man can be left behind as soon as the people realize that the situation is not fair, not respectful enough to stand. Here we go. High Priestess, going within, introspection. Also, there can be a meaningful level of silence, you know, because this person can be with you, then they can basically disappear, then they resurface, but the connection is struggling. The only thing that can work can be the intimate side of it. And maybe you thought that this person was kind of the one, but in reality, they can be extremely egotistical. Wheel of Fortune. Time is running up, guys, for this connection. It can be almost expired, the situation for some of you. Ace of Cups, this is a gift, guys. But these energies are not in favor of the opportunity to share it with someone that truly deserves it, you know? And so some of you may truly realize that the true colors of a person of interest are extremely different from the ones that you thought you have seen, you know, in the early stages of the connection. This person can basically show to you the real version of themselves. And I have to say that some of you may not like it, you know. There can be other people, guys, around this person. And they are fine with that type of game, you know. We got unconventional keyword, string along, which is another factor, one night stand. I wouldn't say that it is the case for you, but it can be the case for this person with other people. And so basically you cannot trust them. This can be a missed chance, guys, because of the Five of Cups. Is it really a missed chance? I mean, this person is not deserving of the Ace of Cups. And you should love yourself enough to realize if another person is deserving to have you by their side or not. You can do that. Maybe the decision will sting a little bit, but it can be necessary. It can be a blessing in disguise for you. What's the surprise of the week? Five of Wands, Two of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Guys, we have another apology that can come in for some of you. It can be unexpected and it can bring a touch of turmoil for you, Five of Wands. You have to go within, following the Two of Swords energy. The Five of Wands can even be an energy about competition, guys. And we got the Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. So some of you can receive a Page of Cups token from someone that took advantage of you because maybe, you know, they were kind of distracted um, by other situations, other people. There is the money in the background in the Two of Swords, so there can be a fear factor. There can be even a fear that the other person cannot be entirely trusted. This can be a justified doubt, let's say. The other person is going to say that you can embrace the Regeneration Oracle card, so you can do things in a better way in order to build foundations for your connection. They are willing to, to help you guys a leg up. But 
you will have to read between the lines because this person may just be the same, you know? Maybe they are not different from the version of themselves that let you guys down. Page of Cups, lovely energy, yes. You know, it depends when it comes to the opportunity to be enough. Unfinished Symphony, yes, we can say that. But I want to see... I want to see the Six of Pentacles, guys, because chances are you are not going to see this person reaching out. And so I am curious about your potential reaction. Because the Two of Swords can describe some of you that are not interacting with this person. The communication can be absolutely off, you know, super quiet. And then the apology comes in, maybe catching you guys out of surprise. Here we go, two cards, seven of cups. Again, a lot of questions and doubts. You can still think that this person has options open and available, even if they apologize to you in order to try to reconnect the thread of your connection. And the lovers, oh boy, extremely important connection for some of you. You will have to fulfill a heart over head decision 100%, but if we follow the two of swords, guys, the posture of the lady is the X1, you know, so closed off for protection and she is blindfolded. So she wants to feel. She is not interested in seeing something, you know, she wants to feel it. You have to feel it. You have to feel the connection. Can you trust it? Can you trust the other person? You have to take away for a moment the potential sexual side of the connection, because if this is a soulmate experience, it can be powerful. The chemistry, you know, the attraction to magnets. All right. I get it. We have to take a step back, get a wider perspective, a broader perspective. Can we build for the future? Yes or no. Is the vision the same? Yes or no. Can I trust the other person? Yes or no. And then clarity comes. We just have to pay attention, guys. The other person can try to convince you that it would be a wise decision for you to give them the green light. These energies are kind of iffy, guys. Five of Wands. There can be gossip, even. People keep talking. They can say what they like. Always quoting one of Delisha Keys' songs. Inner turmoil, also, for some of you in particular. If the connection is not balanced when it comes to the equal give and take, the foundations cannot be trusted. And so we cannot do things in a new way. Instead, some of you may decide consciously, consciously by following your heart, but also by bringing forward your intelligence to move in a different direction. Basically, rising from the ashes like a phoenix, as the saying goes. But this can be a major decision. And you have to take into consideration a lot of factors and then decide according to what you can feel. You're not going to be wrong, you know? So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.